Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. So this is a continuation of the chipped ECU. After you've chipped your ECU, what you need to do is burn a map or a ROM onto a chip so that your ECU can run the engine. Chipping ECUs and burning chips is really old school way of doing things. Not a lot of people do it anymore. Um, so a lot of the things that you need to burn chips is kind of discontinued, at least what people used in the past. Uh, so in today's video, I'm going to show you guys some basic parameters to set in a map to run your B16Y8 if you have that. Um, basically, we're trying to sync mechanical timing with ECU timing. Um, and we're also going to be burning a chip. So I'm going to show you guys how to burn a chip. Uh, as, the, as mentioned, a lot of things are discontinued. What people used to use in the past is what's called a Moats Burn 2 to burn a lot of these chips. Um, what that is, is essentially it's a, a universal programmer that can burn only specific kinds of chips. What I'm using is a Mini Pro uh, TL8662 Plus, which is a universal programmer from China. You can easily get these anywhere, like eBay, uh, AliExpress, Amazon, uh, Wish. A lot of places sell this. Just have to Google it, and this works perfect for burning chips. I have no issues with it, because right now I'm currently running a, a custom map on my ECU that I burned with this thing. I'll show you guys how to read chips and burn chips with this device. So, let's get to it. Alright guys, so this is a TL8662 Plus uh, Universal Programmer. So, this is what you get from basically this box here. Uh, you have the lever lifted up, because this is a zip socket. All you're going to do is lift it down to lock the socket in place. Um, so, there's software that comes with this programmer. You're going to need to install that and figure it out. Um, it's pretty straightforward. You install the .exe file into your computer and then you just run the cable and you're able to burn chips with it. So it comes with a USB cable as well as other accessories but all you need is this USB cable. So you'll plug it into your computer, laptop or desktop, whatever. And then you plug this in and it'll start glowing red. Once that is going red, you know this is already plugged in and hooked up to your computer. How you install the chip is you essentially just drop it in like that and you drop the lever. That locks the chip in place and now you can start programming. So now we're going to switch over to my computer and I'm going to show you guys how to do a map as well as burn the chip. Alright, to set up a P28 map, open up your Chrome and while it's loading we're going to be setting up this map to run a P28 the P28 map to run a Y8. So once this is loaded, click this little button right here. This opens up a standard list of ROMs. If you have something that's other than a Y8, you could go with a B16A, B16A2. Um, but we're going to start off with a P28 USDM um, D16Z map. This is the full map here. It's a base ROM. Um, so it's the stock map. This is your low cam timing table, this is your high cam timing table. Anything that says 16.5 degrees, what you're going to do is adjust that to 12. Reason being is that you want to sync your mechanical timing with your um, ECU timing. So now when the ECU says 12, the engine says 12. So they're both synced. So as you go up to like these values here, if they're 42, your engine's going to be 42. So you can start tuning from there. So this is a good starting point that you can use to start tuning your engine. So just save this somewhere. I'm just gonna save it on my desktop. Stock 12 degrees. And then we have something set up for a starting point to start tuning. Now, uh, we can also do it in Honda Tuning Suite. I'm not gonna show you guys that. Software is relatively the same. It's just that with Honda Tuning Suite, it's a free software that allows you to also data log. With free Chrome, you can't really do that. All right, now to burn a map, what you want to do is you open up your Xgo Pro, and this opens up. Um, most of you guys will have an SST chip, so within your chip, which you hit this button here, you have to select the right chip. So SST, and I believe it's a 27SF5112, I believe. Uh, it's not the chip that I'm currently using, but I'm just going to show you guys where it is. 27SF5112. Yeah, so this would be the one that you need. 27SF5112 at DIP28. This 
is what you need to select. Once you select that, when you load your ROM and you select it, you need to start at 8,000 to buffer. The reason being is that the 5112 chip can hold two maps and you're telling the chip to start burning at this part because your ECU actually starts reading it from here. So because I'm not running this same chip, I'm gonna set mine up to the discontinued chip that I have, which is an Atmel. And I believe it's a 29. You just read the chip, let me read it real quick. 29C256. C256 and at the IP 28 that's pin for 28 pin um, chip so this is what I'm I currently have so once you have that selected the chip what you want to do is I'll show you guys first how to read your chip and pull the map off of it so we'll pull the map that I've already burned on here off so you would read it by clicking this read button here right here there's a green read button you click that and you click read. Oh, if you get an error, that means it's not connected to the chip burner properly. So you wanna check your zip socket. Um, sometimes it just doesn't clip on completely. And then you try it again. And there you go. It just wasn't clipped on like properly. So once you've got that, you see the, this, this is all coding and that's what is on your map. So I have a map from Honda Tuning Suite that I burned on here. This actually has a shift light and all that that I built in. So what you would do after you've read it is you can save this map. It saves as a bin and you can save it anywhere on, like we can save it on the desktop. Um, and it will say it has been saved. And as you can see, here is the bin file. We can now open this with Honda Tuning Suite and you can start making your adjustments or you know, you can see what a base map looks like if somebody's created one for you through Honda Tuning Suite or, or with Chrome. So I'm not gonna open up this base map. Um, it's kind of pointless. You guys already know how to do that. It's, it doesn't really help because you guys have to learn how to read the parameters anyways. So we will want to basically now erase this chip because we're going to use it to burn something, right? So you click this erase button right here next to the program and you erase it. And that says it succeeded because, you know, everything is good. So now if you read it, everything is back to zeros. There's nothing in this chip now. You can verify that it's blank and it's verified. It's checked. It's blank. If there's something in the chip, it won't it won't say that it's blank. So now let me show you guys how to burn that ROM that we just created. So because it's a 256 chip, like I mentioned before, it can start at zero. If you have a 512, it starts at 8,000. Just remember that. So since I have a 256 chip, it starts at zero. Oh, sorry. Got it. Okay. And there it is. There's my bin. Open that. And you see, there's all the coding for it. it. Goes all the way to the end, of course, right? Because, you know, this is the Chrome map. Next, what you're gonna do is you turn off check ID, turn off skip blank. I don't really know what those do, does uh, essentially, but you turn those off. Go to the program button, which is right here. And select program. Now it's burning the ROM onto your chip right now. As you can see, it succeeded. It's done, it's also, it's done, it's verifying and all that stuff. So it's done. This chip is good, it's actually here. So what you can do is you can read it again, and it's red, and it's the same map. Look, it's, the map was, it's not, the chip's not blank anymore, right? So you've burnt this. Um, you could check if it's blank. It's not blank. Failed, because we've burnt a map on here. Now, this is basically done. You could do a, the verify again, just to make sure that everything is good. So the verify is finished, it's a successful, so all the data is good on here. That's basically it. All you have to do is disconnect your um, your your burner, which I've ejected right now, and then you disconnect your. Oh, it's because I'm running the program. Turn off the program. Let's eject the burner. 
Okay, it's ejected and you can pull your, your chip. Now you can pop that into your ECU and you're basically good. All right guys, so that's basically it. We've set the parameters for a Y8 map on a P28 map, uh, as well as I taught you guys how to burn a chip using this universal programmer. Very handy, very cheap, easy to use. Um, but that's basically it for this video guys. I hope it helps you guys out. If you haven't already, please comment, like, and subscribe and share my videos. As always guys, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.